Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Bengu Docs, and today we're going to be doing a shorter video. We're going to be looking at using Super Agent, which is a MPM package to, uh, I guess, pull images, uh, which are random images off of um, a website. So basically, we're going to be doing a cat command, a dog command, and also a meme command in which we can also pull the text for the image. So I'll bring you guys back once I have everything open. So the first thing we want to do, obviously, is uh, create a new command. So uh, we'll, we'll do the cat command first, and then uh, obviously we'll get into the other two. So we want to go all the way to the top, and we want to do uh, const super agent, and then equals require uh, super agent. And then we want to obviously bring up the terminal. Uh, and do wait for it to come up take its time i'm going to do npn install super agent dash dash save and we'll wait for that to install so once that has installed basically what we want to do is just basically uh pull it so there is a few things that you can do with super agent there's just a bunch of shit up here and a bunch of stuff here we're just going to use the get function basically so the first thing we want to do is let um we'll make it so it says generating before so if i bring up discord actually we'll make it so it has an await message so what happens is it says generating and then the message gets deleted once the uh embed gets sent so if we just wait up for the discord to eventually open that would be amazing actually so Discord is open and what we want to do actually is, um, I was just having a look at them before. What we want to do is we want to write dog in or cat and it says generating first and then once the image is posted, it gets rid of the uh, generating section. So uh, where is the testing thing? We'll go here. Have a look at it in here. So we have cat, we have meme and we have dog and all of these get pulled from the website sometimes they're gifts as well which is kind of cool i guess but yeah let's get back to coding so we want to do let message equal await uh await message dot channel dot send and then we want to say generating dot 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 and this just basically means like it's going to send that and then once the embed gets sent it's going to um, remove the message. So the next thing we want to do is get straight into the actual thing. So we're going to do let uh, let body equal await super agent and then go down to the next line. And the first thing we actually want to do is we want to console log the actual information from the website. So sorry, let's do this get and we want to actually get the website. So to start off with, we'll do the cat one. So that's obviously going to be uh, this one here. And then we we'll go back and paste that in there. And that's the cat one done. So the first thing we want to do actually is you'll see here that will be a file and that's going to be the thing that we want to log. So if we go here and do body dot file, when we actually run the file itself, when I'll just bring it up in a second. What we want to do is run the bot, right? What happens is if we press save and then we got to open this again because I forgot to press save. <laughs> so if we just do that, it runs the uh, file, we'll bring back up uh, Discord. Oh, I forgot what the prefix, I think it's just this. What we do is we type in cat and then it says generating, it brings up the actual thing. So we know that the file section of that is actually the image that we want to get. So what you want to do actually is just comment that because you don't really need it. Anyways, now what we're going to do is we're just going to basically make it so if there is no body, which sometimes it can break, uh, we just want to return uh, message dot channel dot send. Um, and then we just want to say I broke or something, something like that. Um, and then try again. Because it doesn't mean the bot's broken, it just means that the website failed to show a body. Which sometimes happens. But now we want to do slash let s embed 
Uh, actually, what we'll do, uh, what is this? Cat, we'll do C embed equal new discord dot rich embed. I showed you guys this in the last episode. We'll do dot set color as in, um, we'll do, oh, sorry. Color spellings, yeah, I mean, color spellings are different in every country. Um, then we do Sion. I think I've got my color package in here. Um, but then we want to do is set author, and then we'll just call it, um, does, oh, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Wait, yeah. <laughs> uh, testbot cats. And then we go here, do message dot guild dot icon url and now this is the actual thing we want to look at we want to do set image go here and then body dot file and then basically we can just copy this code over every single time because um, the only thing that's going to change is the body dot whatever it is and that's basically it which is amazing because then we don't really have to do much and it's just simple, straightforward stuff that people are not going to forget. And that's always good. Uh, do test bot. We don't necessarily have to add a footer, but I'm just going to add it for this. Display. Display avatar. And then close. What are the dots there for? What? What's? Oh, I don't know why I added that. <laughs> And then finally, what we actually want to do is we just want to grab this, to be honest, and just paste it down here and then change that to a C and then that. But the last thing we want to do is message dot delete and that's at the end. And that basically is just going to delete the generating message. So now we're going to bring up, we're going to reload this quickly and then we're going to bring up discord wait for it to load it's loaded now we want to run the cat command again and hopefully fingers crossed yep it comes up with a cat command and it shows the icons in which oh yeah because the bots icon is also the thank you docs logo but basically what we're going to do now is we'll bring this back up one and we'll copy this go down two spaces paste this change this to dog change this to uh what is it the the dog and then we want to grab the dog and then what is it is it message yes it is so we want to change this to message and then paste this in here which is the i uh, the i url sorry can't get my words straight um dogs dog 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 change oh yep yeah, we want to change the thing to d d bam run the thing again which comes back up and now we want to run dog and it's going to come up with a dog picture look at that cute as hell and now for the final one we want to grab memes so do this go here here do me oh, memes or well, we can do meme memes it doesn't really matter memes then we want to go up here again and then we just want to grab this URL here and then it turns out that that's going to be URL. So we put this in here. We want to grab the body URL. Um, all that seems good. We'll change that to an M, change that to an M and then save again. And then what we want to do is reload this. I should probably add Nodemon so that it automatically reloads on a save or a change. And then meme. And it's going to come up with a meme. Fingers crossed. Yep, it does. So basically, that is the main concept of the uh, whole thing. It's just you. Want, what, what we want to do is use Super Agent, which is just a URL puller. Um, we wait for the URL. We pull the URL. If it doesn't come through then uh, if the body doesn't come through, then obviously it breaks. And then what we want to do is return it. And that will basically mean that it just stops the code from continuing on. Then uh, basically we create an embed. We send that embed using the uh, uh, the uh, stuff from the actual file itself, which is this bit here. And then that basically 
sets the image of the embed to that image or the URL and that's basically it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Connor from Docs, and um, comment down below what else you want to see in the discord.js tutorials because I'm running out of ideas because I don't necessarily want to copy other tutorials in doing like uh, all the moderation stuff. I'm trying to do stuff that isn't said as much. So um, yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been Connor and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.